YCS Dusseldorf is in the books. And what do we learn from YCS Dusseldorf? We learn that Salaman Great is the new meta. What's that mean? That means everyone's going to go home to their computers and Google how to beat Salaman Greats. Yo, Tom. Hey, Pendot. Hey, how's that sixth ring feel, bro? Ah, oh, it feels great. I don't even have room on one hand for it. That's what I'm saying. You know what YCS Dusseldorf, half of the top clip with Salaman Great? Oh, man, that's incredible. Want to know how to beat it? Sure, I'd love to. By playing this deck I'm about to show you guys, absolute greatness, here it is. You're wondering what deck is in your top, are you wondering what deck it is? Oh hell, I'd love to know. Danger PK Orchestra Dolls. Now just cause our boy Tom requested, here is the deck guys. It is absolutely incredible and it does not lose, it does not lose. You're gonna look at it and be like, hey, what a little clusterfuck man. But let me now explain why this is the best deck in the world. And moving forward, as much as I want to show pendulums for you guys, this is the best deck. And I will feel as if I'm almost cheating you guys by not showing the power of this deck. Now, first and foremost, there's a game plan behind it. It's called Send Darkworm to Grave and Win. We cannot play a deck without any pendulums. I absolutely refuse. I absolutely refuse. Now, even though it might not be absolutely perfect to play it, we're playing a Darkworm. I don't care. So, the game plan behind this deck is very simple, all right? There's a game plan, but you need a game plan behind every deck. When you play pure Trick Stars, the game plan is to lose. When you play Trick Stars and a little Danger Orca Smash, the plan is to MST something and get some pluses, etc. But the, when, when I made the Trick Star deck, it was really just for shits and gigs. Like, oh, haha, Triff just made Trick Stars good. Triff Stars, haha, Triff God. Anyways, this is not a just for fun deck. This is actually the best deck in the game right now, uh, obviously, because there's a one or two pendulums in there. Let me now explain why. Now, it's the best deck for this very reason. Uh, what does the deck do? You play 21 dangers. So, obviously, the first thing you do is you summon all your dangers onto the field. Once you summon two on field, you start going into some nightmare plays to pop back or pop interruptions. And then, you have nine auto-win cards in the deck. They're actually even more, but nine normal summon auto-wins. So that is three low fire, three Scorpio, one Armageddon, one Greffer, and one Rota. You have nine. After you clear some Phoenix, as with Phoenix clear some back row and service clear some interruptions, you then go into the auto win normal summons. You want nine, ten, because they're hopefully joined to two, so if you discard one, you're good. After you normal one of them, this is what wins you the game. You ready? Shadal Fusion. Let me read this card for you guys. I know Construct's back, but we don't even play with Construct. Shadal Fusion says, send the real biggest auto win card in Yu-Gi-Oh! ever made in history Destrudo to the graveyard and also send Papa Bako to the graveyard, Shadal Dragon, and then also summon an actual auto win for the meta, Winda. And then if you just want to link away with it, you get it back for more fodder. Shit's insane. It's actually crazy. So this deck is literally uh search you have nine Shadal Fusion in the deck and three Scorpio, three Lone Fire. 3 Shadal Fusion itself is 9, and then 16 ways to send Destrudo to the graveyard. 16! 16! Which is also, I would play 60 cards, because you don't want to draw to the Mare Mare or the Cobra. But again, even if you do, it doesn't matter. It's not absolutely required for the deck. So the game plan behind the deck now is dangerous to put them on field and to upstart Goblin draw to the good cards. Get some Nightmares on to pop everything. Lone Fire, Scorpios, Armageddon, to put Destrudo in Graveyard, and have more monsters on board, save Destrudo for before you go into the Orcus engine. Now they have to start using their interruptions. They're going to run out of their interruptions from the Nightmares, and from even if they Ash your Scorpio, who cares? It doesn't matter. You have so many ways to send Destrudo in there, that a lot of these cards are Ash Bait, or Hand Trap Bait, for them to eventually get rid of their Hand Traps. Eventually they're going to run out of their Hand Traps, and that is when you then bring out the big guns of the Destrudos. Then Yazi comes out. You start popping even more stuff. And then when you clear their entire board through the Shadals, which you have nine ways to go to Shadal Fusion, you have so many ways to Shadal Dragon, you got 13, let's count how many ways into the Strudo right now. Three into the Strudo, for, six into the Strudo from the uh, Scorpio, or the plants, because they, they add you Shadal Fusion. So if you draw a Lone Fire, it's almost an auto win if it resolves, because it gets you a Break Sword, which is pop one. It gets you Shadal Fusion, which sends a Dragon, pop two. Gets you uh, Yazi, which is pop three. Then it gets you a Phoenix and a Cerberus, which is pop, pop five. And should all, uh, the Winda gets you uh, like the, another card to discard off all that. And they just draw off each other because the Phoenix and the Cerberus draw each other. 
So that's pop five, and then at the very end of it, you still have a bunch of monsters on board. You go into Mermaid, Orcus, whole combo, Boral Sword, attack for game. So it's an auto win by itself, which is why you save it near the end. And against Thunder Dragons, you don't even need to resolve it. You really uh, just discard it, it doesn't matter. And just having a monster on board is really all you need sometimes. And you'll be incredibly surprised how incredibly easy it is to take care of Shadol, sorry, Thunder Boards. And I'll explain why as I uh, talk about near the end. But it obliterates Salaman Greats and obliterates uh, Thunder Dragons, which is why I made this deck. Uh, nothing actually searches because you just discard it with the dangers. So, yeah, low fire Scorpio, you're not really resolving. Like, you really could save it for the end and then resolve it after, but you don't need it. Uh, a Mirror Mirror takes care of, Mirror Mirror into Brito takes care of the entire Colossus, and then you at the very end, you go into the Scorpio to win. So, you have 16 ways into this, Strudel 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 1 Foolish, 12, 3 Shrines, 15. Three Shadal Fusions, 18. That's 18 ways to go into the Strudo. That's absolutely remarkable. Uh, 18 auto wins. That's actually insane. I don't even know if I count it. Rhoda, that's 19. Actually, that's 19 ways to the Strudo uh, and one Mirror Mirror. So 19 auto wins. Nice. You also have nine auto wins in Shadal Fusion. Anyways, we're going to keep going now. Uh, three to Strudo. Just one of each of, uh, of these three Shadals. We don't play Hedgehog. One Beast, one Dragon, one Squamata. Perfect range to you. You can throw a Hedgehog in if you want, but we actually had no space in the 60 card deck because it's too good. If you want to take out, if you don't want to play Pendulums in it because you're fried, you can take uh, those two out in the three shrine, leaving five spots to play whatever you want. Next, uh, the, after you put up the whole thing, the reason why the deck is so good is the Orcus, is after you clear their entire board, which is whole, all, all the clients so, so far are there just to clear boards. So after you clear their entire board, you go into the Orcus, which the Orcus give you a free Boral Sword uh, by going into any Nightmare, turns into a Nightmare Mermaid, discard, summon Nightmare. Then that turns into Orcus Galatea, which gives you Orchestrated Return, which Sekka's Light Bills can't play. It lets you draw two as well. Then it just keeps flowing. You never end up... If you have two cards in hand, three cards in hand, it ends up with five, six. Always. Doesn't matter. And any everything you draw summons itself on field. You're absolutely insane. Uh, so you just play two Nightmare, Orchestrated Nightmare, one of each with Orcus. And lastly, if you can't with the Caleb, you need to have the Phantom Knights in there. You need to have one Cloak, one Boots, and double Fog Blade. There's so many plays with Break Sword as well, popping and Rusty popping multiple times going second. Even if you're going second, you keep those four in. Absolutely insane. Uh, absolutely insane. So even if you if you notice, I formatted it in order. So dangers, sum themselves on field. Pride of plants, etc. Pop more stuff. The pseudo turbo, put everything in there. Shadows, get rid of more monsters. They exhausted all the resources to negate uh, you, which you have infinite amount of resources. Then you go into Orcus cards. You just need one card then to go into 10 cards. Because just as long as Mermaid resolves, you win. And even if it doesn't, you're going to end up drawing so many ways to send these. Like, look, even if Mermaid doesn't resolve, look how many ways you have set to send a dark. You have Armageddon, Graffer, that's two. You have uh, three, four, five, uh, five. All the Scorpio cards get Shadal Fusion, that's 11. Rhoda, 12, 13. A Shadal Fusion sends the dark, so you have 16 ways to send to Orcus as well if you need to. So, it's incredibly versatile, it's amazing. One Cobra, one Mary Mary, we play 16 not to draw into them. And the deck's so good. Whether you play 40 or 60, it's just so good. You need to play 60 to ensure you have space for all this because they don't conflict. They're just absolutely incredible together. One Orchestrator Return, you need to play it. Rota, Foolish, Triple Shrine to get out the best card in the deck. Dark Worm. And three Allure, go through the entire deck again. Three Shadow Fusion, best card in the deck. Double Fog Blade, insane. Uh, now you look at the side deck. You got nine cards that are good for monster decks, nine cards that are good for back row decks. It's that simple. If you use a back row deck, you put nine back row deck cards in. If he's monster deck, put in the nine monster ones in. And typically, you don't need to decide at all. Because it actually is the best deck. And the whole deck has a purpose uh, to take care of cards anyway. So you may need to decide. But they're just there if you feel like it, if you get bored. Uh, but you don't need to decide at all with this deck. Next, extra deck. So incredibly tight. So incredibly good. I wouldn't change anything. Mermaid, Phoenix, Cerberus, Unicorn, Galatea. You need it. Summon, Sork, Rusty. Boral Sword, need it. I want to put Boral Load, but you don't need it. You have six, 19 ways to go into the Strudo. So, uh, Brio just takes care of the Thunder Dragons, which is the only reason you want to play Boral Load is for Thunder Dragons. Uh, Link Karibo, Brio, Yazi, Boral Savage. Boral Load Savage, because Boral Load Savage is how you put up the negates. Typically, when you're going first, you're going to have Double Fog Blade and a Savage Dragon. Or if you don't have access to your one of your 19 Distrudos, you go Double Fog Blade, Evil Storm, Nightmare, which three negates, four negates because of Nightmare is enough to ensure you don't get OTK'd. And then next turn, you OTK the shit out of them. And then one Break Sword because it's so good going second, man. A rusty pop one because breaksword summon itself breaksword pop a fog blade to pop that special without the other monster and do more shenanigans it's absolutely insane and uh then the one window which is all you need you don't need two you already won after you summon the one so that is the deck it's absolutely insane guys uh, i do have a tendency to boast sometimes with my deck but i'm not boasting with this one this is the greatest deck i've ever seen and it is 
for this meta, for this meta. Obviously, pure pendulums with full power is way better. Obviously, way better. But for this meta, this is the best deck because uh, you don't want to go up against six negates and have nothing against thunder dragons and have nothing to do. Because when you play pendulums, you can't play with four cards in hand and then deal with two, double colossus and double uh, negate, right? But with this, it doesn't matter what you have, what you draw. It's just so easy to clear everything because you don't search at all. And everything summon itself, and you summon 10 monsters and OTK them. I get Silent Mangrates is literally the buy. Silent Mangrates are the buy. Same with Strikers, the buy. They're like the easiest way ever to beat them. Uh, so that's the deck. Uh, I'm going to showcase you guys in the next few days play, how to play it in action. I want to showcase the best decks you guys could play it. And really how to destroy Silent Mangrate and how to destroy Thunder Dragon is this deck. Absolutely the best deck in the game. And I will feel literally not, not good whatsoever if I show you guys something that was not the best. I want to become the greatest player of all time, and I want to be, you guys become better, and the only way to do that is by showing you guys the best possible product I can. So this is the deck. I hope you guys enjoy it. Don't forget to subscribe. See you guys tomorrow's video, where I absolutely obliterate Salamangrate. See you tomorrow's video. Peace.